If you want to become a better trader, then the tool you use are important, but having them set up the right way is crucial. So you're going to want to stick around while I show you how to set up TradingView like a professional trader. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your desktop app, layout, market data, scanner, and watch list, and all of those things. Be sure to stick around till the end of this video because I'll show you some tips and tricks on how to maximize your screen real estate when you're using TradingView. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to tradingview.com and download the desktop app in this section over here. If you're still using the browser version, Version, you're doing it all wrong and you definitely need to use the desktop app because it works so much better so when you're on the website just click over here on desktop app and after you're going to download the version you want i'm going to click on this one over here because i actually don't even have it on this computer and the installation process is definitely the easiest right you just have to click install and everything is going to be good to go so when you're done downloading it this is what it's going to look like it's going to be the basic trading view that everybody knows and it's going to be missing a lot of things so the first thing we're going to do is just move it to the dark layout because I think it looks better and it's going to bring us to this layout over here. For this tutorial, I'll just log in into my account so I'll be able to fully customize because if you're just using the free version, it's going to be missing out a couple things and I'll be talking about that very shortly. All right, so now we are signed in and the first thing we're going to do is just go over here and go to your profile and go to account and billing because we're going to be adding some market data because it's definitely missing some if you want to be a profitable trader because you're going to be trading on a 15 minute delay when you're in this section this is what you're going to need you're going to need the extra subscription and they're going to be over here if you want to add them just go add market data and it's going to bring you to this page over here and the market data that you need are going to be these three you're going to need arca nyc and nasdaq two dollars each as i mentioned and you're going to be good to go by the way at any any point during this video don't hesitate to check out the link in the description if you're looking for the best broker that's going to offer you the lowest commission and also the best execution so if we get back to the chart here's what we're going to do we're going to just right click over here go to settings and over here we see the candlestick color so it's pretty self-explanatory so if you want to change the color it's over here these are the wicks so the little wicks on the chart are on the candle are going to be this and the border and also the bodies so something i like to do is just remove this line over here so you guys can see there's a line at 5170 that's pretty annoying I like to remove it like this so I don't need to see it because I'm going to see the price indicated just over here. So what you would want to do when you're in this over here, just go to a time frame that's intraday. And after that, you're going to be able to put over here extended hour and it's going to show you the pre and post market. So we can see right now it's selected for both and everything is there like a normal trading chart because when you're day trading, of course, you're going to be trading the post market or the pre market depending on the event. So the next thing you want to be doing is over here, change the color of the pre and post market if you don't like it. I personally don't like the brown over here, so I'll just put it something like a gray and blue, and it's gonna look just better. Next thing, what we have over here is we have the open, high, low, close. This is something I'm gonna leave normally over here. And this over here, I like to remove it because I have a better way to see which stock I'm trading if I have multiple charts open. And to remove this, we're just gonna click on this over here and it's gonna remove it. We're gonna leave the open, high, low, close as mentioned. And this, we can leave it over here. Something that I don't really enjoy is if you're looking at the intraday chart, this is not going to be accurate. It's only going to work if you're looking at the daily. So if you have multiple time frame or multiple chart, the best thing to do is to leave it on the daily chart. But if you're looking at the intraday, remove it on the intraday chart. For now, we're going to remove it because we're not going to want it. So the next thing we're going to do is go to scale. And what you really need over here is to remove this and put all of these settings. And I think are going to be the best one. So you want to have to maybe your countdown or maybe not. This is going to be up to you. So that means if you're trading on the five minute chart and there's one minute left to the candle, it's going to show you. If it's not something you want, you can just remove it from this over here. So the next thing you want to remove is this over here because it's not necessary to see the dollar or the USD because you can assume if you're trading the US stock market, it's going to be in USD. Next thing we're going to do is appearance. If you want to change your background color, it's going to be over here. I like to put it solid. That's just me, but I don't see a benefit of seeing it gradient. And I like to remove the vertical line. And the reason why is sometimes you have a wake on a vertical line and I just keep the horizontal because sometimes it helps you see support and resistance on the chart. So the next thing we have is session break. This is just not necessary. It's going to show you in the pre-market over here, as you guys can see, and the after hour when the market is closing. But you already see it if you put your pre and post market in two different colors. So what I like to do is just not having this selected. So over here, we have a scale text. We're going to leave it like this for now. And also we have a scale line and crosshair. We're not going to touch it yet. We'll go back over this later. Something else that I like to do is having a top margin of at least 10 and right margin of 10 and bottom margin of 10 also. The reason why you want to have bigger margin on top and bottom is sometimes the price is just moving very quickly. So it doesn't go at like the top of your chart or at 
at the complete bottom of your chart and you can see the actual price action. So I like to put decent margin on top of the bottom so I can at least have some space for the price action and to see where the next support or resistance would be. So the next thing we have is trading and I'm going to remove this over here. I'm using a broker so I don't need to use trading view for execution. I'm using the platform that my broker provides and it's just way better. And the next thing we're going to do is go to event and I'm going to make sure that these are selected because it is pretty important to be able to see when the earnings and everything is so we can see right now on the chart if there's earning coming up it's something you have to be aware and you see it at the bottom over here but the next thing we're going to do is add some indicator and i'll show you guys a couple setting that's important to have when you're adding some indicator because if you just throw them on the chart they're going to look ugly and be really annoying so i'll show you guys a clean way to do it and i'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it. first thing we need to do is go to indicator and add volume because right now we don't even have volume on the chart if we add volume right now we can see that it's also blending with the chart so that means sometimes the volume like this is going to be over the candles and it's not something you want so to fix this what you're going to do is just go over here to the three dots click on it and say move to new pan below and it's going to appear like this over here and it's going to be better so at least when your volume is moving and your price action is moving it's never going to be in the same one and i think it looks a lot better and it's a lot cleaner so the next indicator we're going to add is vwap and to add it, just write VWAP and it's going to be over here, volume weighted average price. We're going to click on it. And something that you're going to have to do with this one is customize it. So first of all, you have the upper and lower band. So we're going to look at the intraday chart to make it a little clearer. And I find it quite annoying because most likely you're going to use the normal VWAP. You can keep the top one and the bottom one, but most traders and most institutions are going to be only using the middle one. So what you want to do is click over here settings and remove the upper and lower band and also the fill so it's cleaner next thing you want to be doing is pretty important so you go to visibility over here and you only want to see the vwap on the intraday chart so you can see you can leave it up to sometime the five minutes so this is what i do so that means if i look at a 30 minute chart it's not going to be there so it's going to be so much better if i add only the five minute chart and lower so like a one minute and a two minute it's going to show the vwap if i look at the daily chart it's not going to show it and for the indicator i'm not going to go through every single indicator because you can apply the same principle so the next thing you want to be doing is just go over here and select the time frame that you really want to see most of the time. So you can see over here when you have the one selected, it's really fast to go through chart and you don't have to waste any time. If you have a lot of time frame and they're not the right one, you're just going to be wasting time and having to go to click every time or open this drop down menu, which is going to be a waste of time. So the next thing we're going to adjust is going to be the watch list because when you get it, there's a lot of clutter. So you want to clean it out and have a better way of trading or using it. So right now I have a couple of stock in a watch list. It's just titled watch list. Nothing special about this. Something I like to do over here is just click on these dots and also add a section. So you guys can see right now I have a section select and I like to just rename this as maybe uh, intraday runner so we're just going to put intra like this over here and whenever I'm adding a stock you can just right click and add to watch list so you can add to the watch list and after that when it's added you can actually just move it below and I like to do it this way because it's just so much faster if you wouldn't want to do it this way what you have to do is go over here and create new watch list and then you have multiple watch lists and you don't even know which stock are in which watch list and it's quite annoying I wish trading you had a better way of doing it but that's the best way that I found so when I do watch this I just create different section in them so the next thing we're going to do is go into stock screener and we can see over here that we have a lot of stock and also a lot of columns we want to have a cleaner layout when we trade so the best thing I would suggest is go over here and remove pretty much everything and already there it's just going to look better and you can move the column this way and the next thing you would want to do is just go to filter and adjust also the filter that you would want to scan for so before we jump into the last section if you enjoyed this video the best way to support the channel is to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing it really helps us grow and also push the video to new people so let's jump into the last section before closing this video so for the tips and tricks what we're going to do is right click go to settings and and you want to remove the indicator title over here it's going to clean up some space and also remove the indicator value and also go over here just go to label and also remove this one so you have a really clean layout with trading view something i don't enjoy is the layout around the platform is really big so what you can do as i mentioned is zoom out this even more so you can have actually more space for your chart because you don't need the outline something you probably realize is the font is really small and that's what i said in the beginning that we're going to fix it later because depending on how much you want to zoom out you're going to be adjusting the font in relation to this so over here normally mine is set at something like 16 and it's going to be pretty clean like this 
And if you have multiple charts, it's going to be a lot better because you're going to have more screen real estate. And the next thing you would want to do is actually go over here and make a copy of this layout. You can rename it the way you want. And the thing it's going to do is it's going to have multiple layouts like this. As you guys can see, we have two. And the next thing you want to be doing is just separate them. So you actually have two layouts and something else that you have to be aware of. If you want to have the same symbol, so that means if you change one, it's also changing the other one. You're going to do it this way. Same thing for the drawing. So that means if we put a drawing on the first chart, for example, we put one over here, it's going to also show on the second one. Next thing I like to do over here, just go to symbol or appearance over here. And we want to add the watermark because we removed the title over here of the stock we're trading. We want to remove or add the watermark actually over here and just doing it like this. Something that's important if you're not profitable or even if you're profitable and you're looking to maximize your trade, I created a custom indicator that's going to help you do exactly that. To download this indicator, the only thing you have to do is just watch this video and get the link in the description. Peace.